recommend working out per day? Is one or two days rest day better? I would recommend if you don't work out at all right now, just start with maybe every other day. Get you know used to becoming a person that works out. There's no right or wrong answer. This is you creating your fitness journey and you have to start up somewhere. So if you don't work out at all, then start with, with one day and then start increasing it to two times a day. And then don't do so much at a time. You know, start with you know 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Because if you want to compare it, let's say with what we do, we've been working out for years you know we've been a little more consistent in the past two years but we've been working out pretty much our whole lives so do not want to just start working out as much as we do because that's just part of us that's who we are it's part of our routine and if you want to stay consistent you have to begin to love working out so if working out three times a week it works for you as long as you're gonna stay consistent and you're loving it that's perfect if you want to rest two times one or two times a week that's fine too but definitely schedule it in the beginning of the week so that you already know what day you're gonna do it and what days you're not and you stay committed to that what i recommend is typically you get motivated when you hear about a celebrity or somebody in the media some icon that you look up to that they just posted their workout routine or you see what they do and you feel like if they can do it i can do it it's gonna work out for me and I'm gonna look like them. It doesn't work like that, guys. We're all built differently. We all need to create smart goals for ourselves that we can stick to. Smart is just specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Don't try to do too much too fast. You're gonna burn yourself out. You're not gonna reach your goals. You're gonna get discouraged. It's not gonna be consistent. So you wanna set up a plan for yourself that you can do every single day and it doesn't feel like a chore. You want your workouts to be fun. You wanna enjoy it. Don't think of a, of a workout just as like, you have to be in the gym. You could be at home, you can go for a bike ride, you can go for a walk, you can go for a run, you can go swimming, you can play basketball, you can play soccer, you can go to the park with your kids. As long as you're moving, as long as you're getting active, what more can you ask? Dropping some knowledge bombs on you. That was Pati. Pati, thank you, hope we answered your question. Now I don't remember what this one was. Oh, this is a butterscotch. From Huck Finn. From Huck Finn, I've never had butterscotch. Don't really have high hopes, but I'm expecting something good. Since we've never had this one, we'll give you guys our opinion and we'll get back to the questions on the next one. Cheers to the butterscotch from Huck Finns. She'll never let me live this down, guys. It's got like coconut, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what butterscotch is, but I know it's not coconut. And I'm tasting coconut. I'm not gonna complain, this is good. I'm gonna have to Google search what is butterscotch. Since we didn't pick a question for that last donut, guys, I get to pick again, and Jenny gets to pick a question. Here we have the horchata. Yes, you heard me. Orchata glazed donut <laughs> you can see from Butter Dough. Shout out to Uvaldo. We love your products, man. We love your donuts. We love your pastries. This one's for you, brother. Okay, this question is from my lovely cousin Celeste. She said, which restaurant has the best pizza? Javi wants to answer this question for you and try this horchata. Javi wants to answer this question so he can get a donut. He's had pizza from almost everywhere in Chicago oh, so this man this Actually, man's opinion call ginger, is valid call ginger for this pizza oh, for this pizza for this question don't don't even think about it just go go like how is it no 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 pizza Where? oh top place five four three two one what is it what is it what is it no go I don't know we called him in for this. The we called him. No, but I'm. He didn't want. He didn't. He didn't want to give you guys his opinion. He just wanted the donut. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? Jenny, we five. Should've, we should have called Ginger. Three, two, one. Paisans. Paisans. You heard it. Paisans. Uh, for me, Paisans. It's been the best so far that I've enjoyed. Not only have we had their pizza, their sauce is amazing, um, but we we're in love with their calzone. So if you've seen any of our other videos. Wait, that's Palermo. What did you say? I said Paisans. Oh my God, the donuts are getting to me. <laughs> then I'm gonna have to disagree with you, babe, because Palermo's. For pizza, Paisans. For calzones, then Palermo. Pizza and calzones, Palermo's. Because I, I, I ain't a pancake, I don't flip flop. I love my Palermo's. I completely agree with them on their side of the spectrum. Like calzones, Palermo's takes a cake for that. For the regular, like average pizza, I would give it to Paisans too. But for me, since this has like such a nostalgic feeling for me, um, growing up, I would go to uh, Gino's east because i remember like growing up every time it was my sister's birthday we would go and it was really good to be honest and yeah that's just that's just for me there you have it thank you celeste so we are gonna do this one this is also from didi's and it looks amazing it looks like a cheesecake in a donut now what is that called this is a strawberry donut strawberry preserved donut but it actually has strawberry jelly like with real strawberries inside 
Jenny, what is your favorite donut? It's tough because I have a favorite donut from every place we go to. So if we go to Do Right, my favorite right now is the sprinkled gluten free, but I also like the cinnamon crunch. If we go to Joe's, I like the Nutella Long John, but I also like the apricot filled one. So it kind of depends on where we're going, and I will have a favorite from that location. So it just depends on where you're going? Yeah. It's a fair answer because. Out of all the places we've gone to, they all have their one unique donut that we just love. I won't take that road. I'll give you guys a direct answer, but you're gonna have to stay tuned later in the video to find out which one it is. Stay tuned. But right now, let me give you my review on this one. This is really good. Oh my God. Not only is there strawberry jelly on here, right? But there's actual strawberries. What your boy is doing here is he's modifying it. He's souping it up. He is making a peanut butter and jelly donut. Oh man, oh man. And this one's for Jenny. I didn't forget. I mean, you could just turn the donut. No, no, you gotta, your you gotta get the full experience on that. It's like when you go into a swimming pool. When you go into a swimming pool, you don't dip your toes in it. You dive right in, right, guys? You dive into a swimming pool. I don't trust anyone that dips their toes. Yeah, I don't fuck with nobody, like at all, nobody. All in or nothing. The strawberry one from Didi's, guys. Go get it and add some peanut butter to it. You're not gonna regret it. On to the next one. Oh my God, this one is just. So this donut right here, guys, is their orange. Trail mix granola donut from Stans. It's an old fashioned, it's a brand new item there. We haven't tried it, we didn't get to try it in, in our review. So we're gonna dig into it today and see what it's about. We don't always go with the donuts that we love. We, we like to experiment because you never know when you're gonna find a better donut. Cheers to uh, trying new things. Definitely not my favorite. It's super sweet. Not in, like, my favorite. It is really, really sweet. And the frosting on here, I'm not buying it. It's something about... But, question. What's your favorite workout routine? And go. Okay, so if we're talking routine, the split that I find that works for me best is push, pull, legs. One day I do pushing workouts, second day I do pulling workouts, third day I do legs. You could take a break after or you could repeat. It all depends what you like to do. That's the routine that I found that works the best and I love doing it. As far as muscle group, my favorite muscle group, it varies. Like it's seasonal for me. Some seasons I like working out chest, I'll pound chest all the time and I enjoy those workouts. I look forward to it. Sometimes it's legs, sometimes I, I really like to get in there and do a deadlift. So right now, actually, my favorite thing to do is run. I get a runner's high. I feel like I can think more clearly. Ideas just come come to me. So I'm really enjoying running right now. But uh, if I had to pick a workout right now, it would be uh, handstand push-ups because I'm enjoying doing that. It's fun. So if I had to pick my favorite workout routine, it would be hard because I love my whole workout. And the way my routine's structured is that one day I hit upper body, the other day I hit lower body or I have a rest day, which I still like do some sort of cardio but we have the pizza consort coming up ginger we need to know what's the best pizza joint what's up everybody this is ginger Hi. and she is the pizza connoisseur, connoisseur. So pizza what aficionado the, what's the best pizza spot the deep dish i like the gino's east if you want thin pizza i'd recommend Baracos. the little caesar's one the new one's pretty good actually gino's oh and nona's is good if you want like a big bread not big bread but like if you want it like thick stuff yeah Okay, so there she is, the pizza console. Take her advice. She just gave you for thick, thin, thin stuffed. stuffed, deep so she dish. Knows. She knows. Ginger knows. So like I said, one day I do upper body, the other day I do lower body or I do rest, which still, I'm still doing some cardio if it has to do with walking or running but i think that's the secret and you have to enjoy every single day if one day you wake up and you're having a rough day and you don't want to work out it's better to like listen to your body honor that feeling and not do something that's gonna make you not want to do another workout the next day you know so i think that's very important to listen to your body so that you're not tired the next day or you just completely hate working out good answer good answer now let's keep it moving on to the next all right now as she's cutting into it does having a partner help achieve your fitness goals that's a fair question I think in a sense we kind of answered it but we can review it who asked this question Claudia my friend Claudia by the way this is a vegan donut from do right it's a double chocolate I highly recommend it having a partner definitely helps stay consistent in your fitness journey but it doesn't mean that you have to work out if you don't like to it helps but I think more importantly you have to be supportive of your partner whatever they want to do if it's working out or doing anything else you have to support that because if your partner wants to work out a certain amount of times a week and you're the one being like oh 
oh why are you always at the gym why you don't spend enough time with me then that's when it's going downhill if you kind of set up a plan if you're not the person that wants to work out or if your partner doesn't want to work out that's fine but then also have some things that you guys enjoy doing together because like for example we enjoy the fitness world so we cook a lot of healthy meals together we work out together we go on a lot of walks so that kind of brings us together that if either of us didn't like doing it then either we would have to do it separate and that would mean less time together so it definitely helps but it's not required as long as you support your partner in whatever it is that they want to do having a partner can either be beneficial or it can be detrimental to whatever type of goals you're trying to achieve. So the best answer is having the right partner. Having the right partner that is always going to be supportive and help push you and motivate you within limits to your goals. All right, y'all, on to the next. Now, in honor of National Donut Day, I had to go with a classic, the Homer Simpson donut, strawberry sprinkled. You know, it's just a classic. This is from Krispy Kreme. Our cameraman, Javi, just got excited. He was about to leave us. He was about to go do something, but he's like, nah, he heard Krispy Kreme. And he came running back. So the next question is was actually asked by two people from Celeste and Maritza. And it is, what is your five-year goal as a couple and then individually as well? Individual goal. In five years, I'd like to be living in Texas. I'd the, like to... That's a couple goal. Okay. We would like to be living in Texas because yeah. that, is our, that is our dream. That is our goal. That is something we would like to have. We'd like to be living in Texas. I think I can speak for the both of us that we would both like to be having our practices. Mine would be owning my own studio gym where I do fitness and nutrition training, having my own clients. Eventually, within these five years, possibly having a family. We think um, a little more muscles kids. running around. I think two kids. Yeah. That's Two kids in five years, that's, let's say, let's say one. Okay, for sure. I, one and then one on the way. Just having a home out in Texas, uh, having friends, and a husky. I want to have a husky. His name is undecided yet. Keep making food reviews. I'd like to have this YouTube thing explode for us. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I'm having fun. This is awesome. This is amazing. So far, we've been blessed. If possible, I'd like to have our cameraman Javi out there with us along the way. Who knows? Five years is a long time from now. Yep. So just like he said, uh, we talk about our future every single day and we talk about what we want to do so he knows my goals i know his goals and i want to have my um life coach practice and i want to be able to help as many people as possible and not only here in chicago but all over the world definitely live in texas i want this channel to grow because we're really enjoying it not only eating very delicious donuts but once we get to meet the people behind the donuts the owners of the shops you come to realize you know how amazing these people are too and what a great heart that they have and the passion they put into their business and their donuts so i'm looking forward to getting to meet more friends through doing this but definitely one of our biggest goals is to move out there in texas and hopefully close to my friend shelly we're coming shelly be ready be ready muscles so, and glitter coming to texas so hope that answered your question yeah. <laughs> we're down to two so you might as well pick two this is like i've been thinking about this all week stan's red velvet if you saw our stan's video you would know that that is jenny's favorite donut new favorite all right so the question here is flat out just straight out like in your face it's when can you train me now i don't know who asked this but there's a lot of people that have been asking but they want to know when can you train them i'm getting really close to um start taking clients and i could start taking clients now but i want to make sure that i give you the best coach that you need so i'm still waiting my program should be over in the fall so i'm definitely going to start taking clients a little bit before that because everything will be structured for that but for now send me messages so i can put you on my list that i'll be emailing once i'm ready to take clients but um i'm definitely excited i'm learning a lot and i'm so excited to be able to not not just to help you lose weight but change create a new identity for you so you could begin to love the person that you see in the mirror every single day jenny wants to do this out of the kindness of her heart she not only has a big heart sorry i said that wrong she not only has a big butt but she has a big heart she really wants to help people that's her main drive that's her main motivation her main goal so she will get to you she will train you once she is ready she wants to bring her best work to you and make sure you achieve your goals optimally so just hang tight guys mo muscles training academy is open for business so if you want to hit me up you can either text me or DM me at Muscles vs Food or Muscles and Glitter and get in contact with me and I'll get in contact with you and we can set up a personal training schedule. If you can't, if we can't work together one on one, I'll set something up for where you can work by yourself. All right, we're gonna hit two at the same time. Here we got Jim's favorite donut on the left. This is the chocolate honey dipped, and on the right 
We have butter doughs, cinnamon donut. All right, let's get into these. The donut wall is officially down. No more borders, no more hiding anything. What you see is what you get. We're about to give our review on the cinnamon donut from butter dough and the honey dip chocolate from Huck Finn's. But. <laughs> I think it tasted sweeter coming off your fingers. Mm. Really good pick, I approve. This was the very first donut we tried from Butter Dough. I remember we, were, we tried it in the car. As soon as it hit our mouth, we both turned around to look at each other and we're like, oh my God. Like, damn! This is such a simple donut and it's made perfectly. I don't know, but it's just it just makes you feel at home. It's very delicious, not overpowering. Um, the sugar and the cinnamon work really well together. The dough is just fluffy and Perfect. Butter dough, five out of five. Hit them up, please, people. Round two. Big, big bites. Big bites. Now the cinnamon one from butter dough. Oh my God. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up, hold up. One eternity later. It's a yeast donut. It's really fluffy. As soon as, as, soon as you take a bite out of it, it just melts in your mouth and just... Down to the final two questions, final two donuts. Who's your best friend? Who is my best friend? Now, a best friend is someone you can tell everything to. Someone that you know always has your back. Someone that you're, you're like an open book to. And for me, I'm not just saying this to be cheesy. I'm not just saying this because she's here. But it's Jenny, AKA my apple fritter queen, AKA Jay Glitter, AKA Jenny Boo. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. I think it's really important that the love of your life is your best friend. And I agree with what he said. It's someone that you trust and you could be completely transparent with. And they love you for who you are. They don't judge you because you like to eat copious amounts of donuts. And they just eat them with you. And this question was actually asked by one of my best friends, Ulises. And he asked this. And I'm glad this question was all the way at the end. Because that means he had to watch the whole thing. <laughs> and Sucker. I didn't even pick it. It was just, you know. It was fake. One of my best friends, Ulises, we go way back from high school. We met freshman year in earth um, science class. We just kind of became friends because we sat right next to each other. But then we continue being friends. Now he's like best friends with Mo too. So that's actually something really cool to have that friendship between them because it makes yeah. it a lot easier. Shout out to Elisa's. You're a real cool guy, real down to earth, man. Respect you, I respect, I respect your hustle. Love your videos. If anyone's made it this far in the video, please go check out Ulises's videos. His we'll name is City it. Made on YouTube. Check him out, show him some love. Tell him we sent you. Thanks, brother. And then uh, my childhood best friend is definitely, you all will know her, Vicky, uh, my ride or die. We don't get to spend as much time as we used to, but every time when we do, it's like we just, start off where we left off so definitely i cannot not shout her out and we're looking forward to doing a cookie review because she's into cookies so shout out to her i miss you hope that we can hang out soon and then without further ado obviously my best friend is my cutie pie right here he makes me a better person because of him i think i get to do all that i do with happiness because he supports everything that i want to do so it makes me encouraged to do it at the best of my abilities and i think that's important in a relationship so he's definitely my best friend and i appreciate everything he does Aww. i could not even picture two donuts that represent us perfectly and it's these last two donuts if you guys made it this far in the video and you remember the question that was what is your favorite donut thank you for sticking around you are about to find out my favorite donut is the buttercream bismarck from stands now it wasn't always like that but when we did our stands review and i got to try it i fell in love with it it was amazing and now it is my favorite it might not always be but for the time being this is my favorite and it happens to be that this one is definitely one of my favorites i've been thinking about this Jenny's you favorite. know and we didn't even do this on purpose but we left them at then maybe because we wanted to savor it for the very last the very last so i'm gonna let them um eat that donut before i ask the last question i think we should take a bite at the same time okay right. cheers to our favorites wait turn it around you see this is why you need an accountability partner this is why you need your best friend by your side to correct you when you're messing up in life that could have been a big mistake <laughs> yeah but now i'm gonna get to enjoy this donut the right way the right way
Oh man. Oh man. I'm glad we left this one at the end. I didn't even get the cross. Out. <laughs> oh. 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 Bite it, bite it, bite it, bite it. Check that out. So you know I'm not playing. Oh, Bet. oh, oh. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. This thing is literally dripping. So I actually forgot to put one question in our little thing right here. And I know if I don't put it out there, they're gonna be like, wow, fake. So this question was by Musa. It's, when is he putting a ring on it? <laughs> See, that's why I wanted him to enjoy his donut. Even the media, the media wants to know, they came out. <laughs> We got helicopters flying overhead. They want to know. They want to hear the answer. Y'all are just going to have to stay tuned to find out. But uh, <laughs> thank you for the question, Musa. You stay tuned, brother. You will find out soon enough. Well, there you go. This is our first q and I hope you guys enjoyed getting some answers, enjoying some donuts with us. We are going to finish these off off air. We are enjoying this. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for, for the messages, for the love that you guys have been on. Um, giving us every video we appreciate it like and subscribe let us know what you think yeah just thank you again thank you everyone for your questions thank you to all these donut shops that help provide all these lovely donuts in front of you we as you can tell like this is probably our most comfortable video we've had so far we're just having fun uh, it's coming more natural to us and uh, we're enjoying what we're doing and if you guys are enjoying it please let us know please comment please like subscribe it'll it's helping us out it's helping us create more videos uh, we love doing this and uh stay tuned for what's coming muscles and glitter checking out peace <laughs>